blocking everything. Oh my god. Move, chickadee. Oh my god, get out of the way. Originally, I was going to buy my stems off of Etsy. I found a package of like three stems for like $15. So I was talking to my bunny a couple weeks ago and I was like, hey, like, can I spend $15 on this bag of three stems? And at first he didn't say anything and I was like, does that mean it's a bad idea? <laughs> and then he goes, Aren't you supposed to be like a DIY channel? Aren't you supposed to DIY your stems? And then I was like, completely deer in headlights, didn't understand, but it sounded like a really good idea. And then the more I thought about it, it sounded like a really good idea. So long story short, I'm going to teach you how to make your very own pumpkin stem. For supplies, you'll need some screws. I got about one fourth of an inch rope cording. Mod Podge, some paintbrushes that are skinny and thin, and you'll need a ton of cinnamon. And these little bead sequins are optional, I use them for my pumpkins. Of course, a hot glue gun. Some glitter is also optional. I'm using chickpeas to fill up my pumpkins, but you can use any type of bean. And some nice velvet fabric. And optional is some lace. You'll also need a sewing needle, some thread, and some cotton. So to begin, you want to cut some strips of rope. And I took my rope apart so that I would have smaller pieces to work with. And then you're going to start hot gluing this around your screw. So it makes this nice little swirl around your screw. You can go ahead and cut off a little bit of the excess, but don't cut too much right now. And you'll want to continue doing this whole gluing thing around your screw until you get all the way around. And then again, cut off the excess. So depending on how thick you want your stems to be, you can either stop here with just one layer around your screw. I actually did two more layers around my screw. So now with the loose bits of rope, you're going to start either curving them up or you can make them straight, however you want them to go, and then just start gluing little fibers together. And you'll cut off however long you want your stem to be. You can also trim the bottom of your stem so that it lays flatter. So if you decide to make a couple more layers on your screw, it'll look something like this. This is about two layers. And now I'm just gonna cut it off wherever I want my stem to stop. There's gonna be some loose pieces of rope. Just get your hot glue gun and glue those down. So now we're going to layer this thing up with some Mod Podge all over. Make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies of this little stem. Now we're going to pour a bunch of cinnamon all over it. You can even press it in with your fingers to make sure you get into all the little cracks. So once it's all dry, we're going to take our Mod Podge again and make another layer on top of the cinnamon. And it'll look like this. Now we're going to let this dry. So once it's all dry, we're going to go ahead and paint. If you don't want to paint, if you like the way it is, you can go ahead and leave it. I went ahead and just painted it a little bit darker because I wanted to get like a dark brown. And I wanted to get more detail in it, make it look real. And so now another optional thing. I did was I put glitter on the edges of it just wherever it came up and I just did them according to the color of my pumpkins. So if you do decide to put glitter on it, go ahead and put another coat of the Mod Podge just to seal the glitter down so it doesn't like come off. So to make our pumpkins, you want to get a at least a 12 by 12 semi decent square to start with and then you're going to fold the top in half. And then you're going to fold it again in half. So now I'm going to mark six inches from my center fold on both sides. And then I'm going to take the two marks that I just made and make a small little cut. And then I'm going to take those cuts and I'm going to bring them together to fold them over one more time. 
then from the center fold again, I'm going to mark out six inches and make a little cut. Unfold it. With the cuts that you just made, you're going to connect a fourth circle. If you need to trace out like a guideline, you can go ahead and do that. And so once you get your guideline, pin everything together so it doesn't move around too much and cut out this circle. And once it's all done, you unfold it, you get a nice big circle. So for my silver pumpkin, I'm going to cut out some lace that's the same size as my pumpkin circle. I'm going to cut into a circle at least two and a half inches. And just try to go around all the little details on the lace as best you can. And then when you're done with that, go ahead and pin it to your bigger circle. And then we're going to go ahead and sew it one fourth of an inch. And you also want to make sure that you're sewing with a very large stitch because you're going to want it to be loose because we're going to be gathering this up. Do not backstitch any of it. And when you get to the very end, don't overlap your threads. So once I got that done, I went ahead and filled it with some chickpeas. So now I'm going to start with the outer threads and I'm going to take one side and I'm going to pull the thread. When you pull this thread out, you're going to get this gathering effect. And I only gathered it halfway and then I took the thread on the other side and pulled it the same way and gathered it the rest of the way around. And then you should get something like this. So now we're going to stuff it full of cotton. And then once you get it stuffed as best as you want, go ahead and knot those two threads. Thread your needle and pull the thread until you get both ends in your hand. Hold your thread and needle with the thread ends facing your needle. And then you're going to want to stuff your needle into the fingers that are holding your thread. Now you're going to take your other hand and grab both the thread ends and your needle. And now you're going to loop your thread three times. Now you want to grab your needle and thread and stuff it into your fingers. And don't let it go. Now take your other hand and pull your needle out. And thus, you will have a knot. So to close the pumpkin, you want to start on the inside. And then I'm going to skip a little bit of fabric and then pick up a little bit of fabric. Make sure you stay where that gathering line is that we first sewed in. And every time I do this, I'm going to keep gathering and pinching together my fabric so that it, it seals up even more. And then you should get to this point where it's almost closed. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into the same spot that I just went in. I'm going to loop around the thread three times. And then I'm going to pull it all the way straight so it makes a nice little knot. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. Go back into the fabric. I'm going to loop around the thread three times. And then pull it out. And to hide my thread, I'm going to go all the way into the pumpkin. And then I'm going to cut it. That way the ends of the thread are inside the pumpkin. So now we get to hot glue our stem on top of it. So now you could stop here, but I went ahead and added a bunch of glitter and rhinestones to my pumpkin. So now if you don't want to put the lace on there, you can do the exact same steps. Make sure you seal up your little pumpkin and then you can glue your stem directly to the pumpkin. And of course this is optional, but I went ahead and put some more glitter on the top of this. So for the purple pumpkin, my lace is actually eight by eight. And I did the same thing, which I cut in about two and a half inches into the lace. And then I followed the similar steps of sewing around the edge. I gathered it all up and followed the same steps, putting in the chickpeas, and then gathering both sides of my pumpkin. And then I went ahead and stuffed it with a bunch of cotton. And then once it was all stuffed and sealed, I hot glued it to my pumpkin, and then I hot glued my stem to the whole thing. And there you have some really super freaking cute velvet pumpkins. 
And I love the fact that you can actually make these with like fall colors so you don't have to just have them out during Halloween. You can actually have them out all through fall. So good luck with this DIY and happy Halloween! I feel like I look like a really, st I like I look like a really stupid like rapper or something. Oh my god, we should be a rapper for for Halloween, yeah. You can be the girl in the back who's like, you know, singing the melody part, and then like I'll be going hardcore with like my rapping.